I've had a couple of things come this week that have really made it for me. Saturday. Uh, I was going to save this for Homebrew Wednesday, but I just can't. I cannot do it. It's just tempting me to film and put up for you guys to have a look at. One of which I'm going to save for Homebrew Wednesday, and uh, the other I'm going to show you right now because I am excited. Making myself a cup of the old, I'm going to say Rosie Lee, but that's not right because it's coffee. Got the demage on ready for the tea wine, I've not forgot about that, uh, it's just a time issue but it's ready, it's clean, just needs sanitising and then the tea wine video will be coming up because it's been about seven months now uh, sat so it needs putting into another damage on, this will be the third damage on that it's gone into. Yeah, I'd like to thank you all for your comments uh, on the last Homebrew Wednesday, everyone seemed to enjoy the Q&A session. I think if I do another Q&A, which I probably will, it'll help me out a lot because I don't want to miss anyone's comments. Uh, I seem to just sort of forget about them if I see them and can't write on them straight away. But if I know I'm going to be doing sort of like a section, I can answer them. It's not necessarily a Q&A from someone who's a professional who knows everything. Because I know... Hardly anything really. But what I do know, I can share with you. Loads of people out there that know way more than me. Uh, like I said, I've only done three all green batches. So uh, I am by no means an expert. But for the little questions like, where did you get this from? Uh, what happened to that? How did you do that? I'm going to answer them for you to the best of my ability. Oh man, the thumbs up as well. You've really, really sort of uh, made my week with that. People just keep thumbing it up. I can't believe it. It's funny, when you make the videos, you, you look at them and you think, no, oh, this one's not as good as the other one, or this one's lacking. And then you get blown away by the response. People thumbing it up, really enjoying it positive comments and it's fantastic so thank you thank you very much right that about wraps that up let's have a look at the thing that i was going to show you it's early in the morning no it's because curtains are short Wait. Wait. are you ready because i am let's have a look the taps have arrived that i bought off ebay look at them bad boys this is the piece of oak I got. Uh, block at work gave it to me. I was going to turn it into a chopping board. But this will attach to this perfectly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut, cut a section out of the oak so that this slides back and attaches further back here. And then the wood will sort of surround it both sides. But what do you think, guys? Let me know. Um, I love them, obviously. Um, they are missing two caps at the top, which I'm not too bothered about. I can get some plastic made to go over that if I want. If I want to, I can find the caps and put them on. Uh, they're actually carlin taps. So, um, so yeah. But I just saw them, I thought, well, they're all chrome. They look quite... Uh, quite plain but fancy so I thought right bidding on them and I won it so I can have two things on tap now and I can get it all set up but I've got a question for you for those of you that have got the pub style taps like this uh, I know Harry's got a set in his kitchen I was wondering if you could help me out because I was expecting the tubing that come from the taps to be thicker but it's not it's really thin stuff uh, I think that's that's one of the lines so it's really really small and that's the other line there 
them two lines are the lines that take the the beer or the lager in this case um, up to the tap and then these two are gas not where you can see there it's keg and gas keg and gas so I'm guessing I don't have to have the gas connected up to that I don't know why the gas is connected up to that if you know put a comment below or let me know but how did you guys get around the small diameter of the pipe is there a little adapter that you can put on to get it to uh, your corny keg or have you got to strip the wires out the, the sorry the lines out completely much appreciated if you could let me know because I want to get on with this as quick as I can uh, ready for the Oktoberfest I think that'll be the the uh, cream on the cake if I can get that um, get that up and operational for the Oktoberfest so that's it guys let me know what you think don't forget to thumb up this video come on thumb it up um, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this uh, channel if this is your first video go and check out the other videos let me know what you think and that's it till homebrew Wednesday when I show you the other thing I've got I'll see you soon alright guys pinky out see you later